This is Panther Weekly with basketball head coach Happy Osborne. Coach, can you first talk about the three wins last week against Payne, Northern Michigan, and then the big win over Michigan Tech? Well, it was a good week, good week for us last week. Uh, Payne, you know, have a young man named Dillingham that's a heck of a player, came in averaging 30 points a game. We held him to seven, although I didn't think we played great. You know, 93 to 78 coming off a loss was a good win. And then Friday, I felt like Northern Michigan really, really fought. It was a, a tough game. And, you know, getting out of that alive with a nine point win. And then Saturday, Michigan Tech, I thought our defense was outstanding in the first half, holding them to, to 15 points. And it was a really good week for us. And, you know, this week we spent a little, you know, took off uh, Sunday, took off Tuesday, and now, you know, back getting ready for Bluefield. and. You know, only a one game week and it's neat because it's finals week and the week before finals, excuse me, and the first two years I was here, we spent that whole week and it seemed like in West Virginia and, uh, you know, it gives our guys ample time to study and, you know, and it's, uh, you know, what they're here for to graduate. So it's a, you know, it's a good week. Can you talk a little bit more about Bluefield State and just what you're looking for in that game? Well, Bluefield is, uh, they're, right now they're seven and three. Uh, they really, really shoot the ball well. They're athletic, they're quick. Uh, they play the number one team in the country in NAI, Pike Bowl to a 10 point game. Uh, you know, we're going to be without our post players, Marcus Fudgens and Jermaine Morgan, are both out injured. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a challenge for us. It's going to be small ball for us. Uh, it'll be interesting. You know, we're, we're going to have to cover, you know, cover ourselves rebounding. And, you know, obviously our depth takes a hit, but it's a chance to step up. And, um, you know, we just got to get through that game until we get at least one of those guys back. With the injuries, what do you think are the biggest adjustments overall? Uh, Devin Langford's got to learn to play the four. Adam Stanford, one of our walk-ons, is going to get his chance to play, and um, you know C.J. Blackwell's going to play some five, and you know we just got to cover it. And we got you know well, the good news is we've had a week to practice to get used to it, and uh, you know probably have to play a little faster. And um, you know I mean nobody's going to feel sorry for Kentucky Wesleyan. You, know, you, know, you won eight national championships here, so you know nobody you know there'd be no shedding any tears and. You know, the way I kind of look at it is, you know, Urban Meyer, he won a national championship with uh, his third string quarterback, who might be a first team All American. But anyway, you know, we, we've got to get through this and we've got to go play. And, you know, it's a chance for us to really, really open it up and let's get up and down. Can you talk a little bit more about your defense and what you'd like to see, especially building off from that great performance against Michigan Tech? Well, first of all, you know, we got the passing lanes really well and we set down. You know, Michigan Tech is very well coached and their first. On the catch, they love the shot fake, and our guys, for the most part, stayed down. Great the first half, and, and, and uh, more than adequate the second half. And we just got to be solid. Uh, you know, as we're littler and quicker, we'll look for more opportunities to trap. But in half court, you know, be solid and talk. And you know, we'll probably play ball screens and things like that a little different than we normally would. But uh, you know, it's a chance to you know, it's a chance to step up. And it's kind of one of those next man up things, and we just got to man up and go. Can you talk about Jordan Jackson, just the toughness and everything he brings to the table? He brings a lot of energy, uh, you know, a lot of energy. Uh, just a, you know, just a fun kid to coach, a great young man, and uh, you know, the excellent rebounder, and you know, brings a level of intensity, you know, something that we need. And you know, as, as good as he's played, you know, we need, you know, Devin and CJ have both played well too, and you know, those three guys right there are going to do a lion's share of our rebound. All right, coach. Thank you, and good luck this weekend. Thank you.